This is indeed a sad arrival in my country. I have crossed the Atlantic for the funeral of the dear brother and to comfort Her Majesty Queen Mary. My heart goes out to the widowed Queen Mother and her two daughters in their grief. Thank you. I knew it was auto clicking. And he got <laughs> His Royal Highness the Duke of Windsor, Your Majesty. can only be thankful for all the years one had him. So wonderfully thoughtful and caring. An angel to his mother, wife and children. I honestly believe he never thought of himself at all. He really was the perfect son. I can't imagine how difficult it must be for you been very much in our thoughts and prayers. Ours? You'd be wise not to mention that woman's name for the next few days. I mentioned no name. The implication was enough. If you say so. I offer that in the spirit of maternal advice, that you may emerge from this trip with any remaining respect or affection at all. This might wait. I'm afraid not, ma'am. I understand. Shall we? Take him an hour to get to the front door. And that'll take him an hour to get through the bloody thing. Now, don't forget the two things we discussed. I won't. The children keeping my surname. Yes. And us staying here in Clarence House, not moving to Buckingham Palace. Both very important. I know. I won't forget. And don't be nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. 
Be firm. Just lay down the law. I know Winston Churchill and all that. Remember who you are. You're the Queen of England. 